What's up, suckers? So, y'all are Oh, shit. Really, the light fell out there. Anyway, y'all are late to the party. So, what happened today? I just want to give an update on all the things that, that have been happening. On all the upgrades, on all this, that, and the other. Uh, anything that's been going on. So, little man's been to the shop today. He, uh... Excuse me. Oh, drink someone. So, y'all are late, like I said. So... He went to the shop today. Tech looked at him. Anthony, thank you very much. Uh, place where I work. Uh, he looked at it. And so here's the, whole, here's the whole deal. So I didn't put two and two together. Uh, I took him into the shop and said, hey, I got a little man. He's fucking leaking. And he's messed up. So I want this looked at, blah, 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 warranty, this, that, and the other. But I'm a super honest guy. I can't bullshit. I can't lie. That's not my nature. Um, I'm talking to the general manager later. And he said, man, what the hell did you do to the thing? Did you jump? Because they know I drive like hell. I fucking wheelie and stoppy and stupid and whatever the hell else everywhere. And he said, what would you do? Jump up and down on the fucking gear shift lever? Or did you fucking tump it over? And I grabbed my cheeks like that motherfucker on Home Alone. And I said, dude... I dropped this bitch. Big as shit. So I'll explain to you how I did it. So in this very... Oh, shit. Look at that beer cap. Um, in this very garage, I grabbed it. I wanted to move it forward just a little bit. I grabbed the damn handle. I picked it up just like this, and I moved it forward. And uh, the damn kickstand kicked out from under it, and I let go, and it goes boom, boom. Right? So I explained that, I think, in the last video. Maybe a couple of videos ago. And, uh... Little man fell over. So, all right, cool. Well, shit. I, gear lever bent. I straightened it out. Uh, clutch bent. I replaced it. Whatever. Didn't think anything of it. You know, I think it leaked at that point. I don't think it was like a continuous leak. I think it was just at that point. So, when I took it to him, they said, yeah, it weeps a little bit, which isn't that bad. Um, I explained it to him. I said, yes, I dropped it. Uh, they said they can't prove whether it's because I dropped it or because it's a defect. So they're trying to uh, get it under warranty. I'm not going to say it's Kawasaki's fault. I'm not going to say it's my fault because I don't really know. Um, either way, it's going to get fixed. Uh, just a little uh, gasket, whatever. He's getting fixed. So on the upgrade of the sprocket front sprocket. I put a 15 tooth on there and it worked great. The bike ran okay. It just felt like it struggled a little bit everywhere. And even in top gear, it just felt like it was struggling. It's much more fun with a 14 tooth gear on it. You can act like an imbecile. You can have fun. And for me, it's more my taste. When I want to stunt more and be stupid and put some bars on here, then I'll probably put the 13 tooth so I can just be really ignorant and just irresponsible as I can be. That'll probably be that part. Um, otherwise, it's running great. It's running a little, a little lean, and, and, and I know that, and it does concern me, and somebody brought it up, and yeah, I do have worries about it, and yes, I would like a fuel management controller. Dynajet, hint, hint. Uh, Dynajet in particular, I would like my, oh, oh, shit. All right, so I got the cold air intake on it, right? Cool. It's wonderful. It's awesome. It gave me, and then the exhaust. I've got more airflow than the law allows, but I tell you what, my idle RPMs are <clears throat> through the roof. Um, whatever the hell they're supposed to be, they're not anymore. It's 2,700 or 20 shit too high. Um, yeah, that's too high. So uh, I would like something where I could bring that guy back down. So. Uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But I'm sure it's coming. So the thing is, I gotta have patience. What I'll probably do is end up starting to ride my DRZ more and stop riding this so much. I would like to take care of it a little bit. I don't want to just drive it in the ground. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, bullshit. Anyway, so I'll probably take care of it a little bit. But anyway, hey, thanks guys for watching the videos. That's an update I got so far. I think Kawasaki is going to take the bill. I think Kawasaki is awesome because I think his bike is awesome. No, I don't think that he'll really be a Grom killer officially. So 
you know, I've been pulling ahead of the other guy on the Grom pretty consistently, and that's just a fact. One thing he did not upgrade is a true airflow. Uh, he does have an exhaust. He has a fuel management controller. He has slight modifications to his airbox, not enough to be sufficient. He is modifying that, and I think he'll have enough to take me on that. But anyway, so there that is. Either way, fun fucking bike. Go out, rip ass, have fun, look stupid because you're fucking 600 pounds on a 20 pound bike, but have fun. Hey, I'd like to welcome a rider's life to the uh, Z125 world. Right on, mate, and that shit and that crap and fucking Vegemite stuff, whatever. Um, and I got a message from fucking Armenian. What's up, dude? Uh, Last I heard you were in Dallas. I think you were moving to Colorado. Anyway, I watch your shit too. Hey, hello. All right, guys. Have a great day. Have a great night. I'm going to have a lot more of those. So ha fucking have a good time. Thanks for watching, man. Like, subscribe, do whatever, and have a great night.